I don't know how much of this is going to show my face. Or well, I don't know how much my face is showing in the video. But I just wanted to make another video again while I'm doing my PT stuff. So, I'm studying. I am doing my level 4 advanced personal training course, which I remember making a note of in the previous video. The video I made yesterday. And I am now further understanding what the issues were with why I was finding it so difficult before to, um, to, do the re uh, to do the research before I mean when I was feeling overwhelmed to do it very basically and I didn't let myself feel calm before actually going into it I didn't let myself take a second to relax before doing it and I don't remember or sorry I don't remember doing that and I don't remember thoroughly going through the content that was attached to learning how to do research properly so I've done this sort of stuff before I've done this in school because or oh, research anyway I've done that research in school because I did an EPQ when I was doing my A-level so that it is something that I've done before but that's I did that like four years ago that was before the um, pandemic here basically and it, because of that it's been a, a long while since I did research excluding my personal training exams but a personal tra my level 3 personal training course it was a lot it, I, I found it to be quite difficult to deal with because I didn't have a very clear framework as to what I'd do step by step with the research but it my, the framework that I've got because I've been making notes on the material attached to the research that I need to do for the um, course which will be for a real case study in real time uh, I've, I've built that up quite a bit I've been making my notes in, in my book that costs 15.99 apparently uh, and yeah it's been, going, it's been going quite well I want to just keep this up if I'm being honest I don't regret this one bit. I mean, perhaps I could have made notes online, I could have not bought a pad, but I, li I like the paper stuff, if I'm being honest. I like not being on the screens all the time. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. And uh, I've just got a few touch-ups here and there on the notes, and there's an activity I need to do alongside the notes I'm currently making. And then I, I think I'll be as ready as I can be to do this. This, this research stuff and very basically continue from where I left off. Now, I also wanted to make a note explaining um, like what I've done physical activity wise. So I've been on the pull up bars and I've been doing my reps on the very thick band and I'm about to do it on a thinner purple one. The thick band's a green one. Uh, I, I will show it, why not? A very very thick one, basically, and uh, yeah, I'm now on the purple one, and plan to just keep this up really. So, see how that goes. If there's any updates I want to make, then I will. But other than that, I did a little bit of um, making place look tidy. There's it was quite messy. So I, I just did, I just tidied that up a little bit. Um, made sure the dumbbells were where they're supposed to be weight wise. So I was making sure, for example, the 14 kilogram dumbbells were in the slot for the 14 kilogram dumbbells. Made the um, kettlebells look ordered, the medicine balls, the sandbags. Yeah, um, step platforms as well. But other than that, that's really it. I don't have much to say. I want to do bodyweight pull-ups really easily, as I would with the green ones, but um, I'm getting there. And if I don't slowly go further down, how how much for my weight I'd be pulling, then I'd be trying to run before I can crawl. So I'm gonna take it slower and uh, take it from there. So I've made it easier for myself to know how to get up and use a band, so it doesn't hurt my feet because I've got bunions, so I, I purposely wrap it around the middle of my foot, I wrap the band around the middle of my foot rather than 
where my feet uh, where the, where my feet start from the main like part of my foot uh, where my toes are where my toes start from the main part of my foot I don't want to wrap it around there I wrap it bang on in the middle of my foot so the band is uh, on, so the band's on my foot and as comfortably as can be plus it feels quite um, I feel quite strong with the band's around that part of my foot the middle part of my foot rather than like two thirds up my foot where um, my toes are where my toes start so I'm not going to do that anymore and when I teach people to do pull ups and things like that then I'd um, teach them the same thing so I've been going out my way to go and make sure I really know how to pull the resistance band down for when people other people want to do it and not just for myself that way, when people, do, when I would be coaching people, then I, I can do that really easily. So I practice that, like, like sets of reps a little bit here and there. Just like how people would, if they were trying to increase their squat to their bench press, deadlift, etc. I might actually do bent over rows with a barbell to help me uh, pull, do pull-ups with, with my body weight easier. I think that'd be quite a helpful idea. So I don't have to think about doing pull-ups as much, I wouldn't over pedestalize that ink, yeah. I have a, probably more of a neutral sense to it. But anyway, um, that's it really. I like how I'm feeling from how much I'd eat. I would like to change what I'd eat, but eventually I'll do that. Calories wise, probably a bit extra. But, but when I eat, I feel really full. When I, 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 really, I feel like I'm on a full tank. So I think I'm doing something right in that regard. And I don't want to change up how much I'd eat but I just like to change what I'd eat. And that would probably significantly decrease my calories as I would decrease, increase my protein a lot, which would be lower in calories compared to fats and carbs in um, like the same amount, gram-wise, the same amount of volume, because protein's not predominantly an energy source. Okay, I compared uh, like how carbohydrates and fats are. But other than that, I'm feeling a bit tired. I'll leave it at that, I'm done. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm definitely getting there and cheers, keeping us up. Peace.